Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing a pen from Enso. Uh, it is a ballpoint pen and it is the Enso Uno Minimalist Pen. Uh, I have the colors set, which is four of these. Uh, and these are, as I said, ballpoint pens and have some really interesting features. Um, obviously it is a very unique design. Um, so we'll just run through some, uh, you know, some, some details and uh, see how we go. Uh, so firstly, this is, Enso is an American uh, company. They're based in Huntington Beach, California. Uh, and uh, as their website and everything says, they are committed to design excellence. And uh, as you can see from this pen, the unique design is certainly an element of this pen. One thing on their website which I found really interesting that they say is they say uh, that it's a study of liberating a pen of unnecessary parts and ornaments. The design aims to be a simple yet powerful solution focused on details. So what they've basically done is they've gone, they've got a, what I imagine it is, is they've got a refill and they've gone, what is the minimum that we can put onto this um, and make it a functional, usable and, you know, interesting pen. And I think they've done that in a very interesting way. So let's cover the parts of the pen. Uh, we'll go from, uh, you know, top to bottom and um, we'll sort of do writing samples and some pros and cons. Let's start firstly with how the pen actually comes packaged. So this is how it arrives. Now I did a sort of an unboxing video of this pen. If you want some sort of, ex if you want to have a look at that, I'll go into a little bit more detail, but what you get is a cardboard box, very thin box, no labels, nothing. Um, and when you open that up, what you get is I think one of the coolest parts of the Enso packaging, and it is this tube. So it is a plastic tube clear plastic and it's got these little rubber ends on it that are sort of labeled with Enso um, and when you take that off nice little pop there you take the pen out and that's what you have so oh, that's rolled away we'll come back to that in a minute <laughs> um, so we have the blue the black which you know you just saw me unbox. There's also in this four color set, a red and a green. Now, these are like anodized aluminum uh, and I think they're nice colors. Um, they're sort of matte finished colors, which I think is actually kind of cool. Uh, and the ink color that comes in these pens matches the color of the pen. Not to say that's how it has to stay, and you know, because this does actually come with a fairly uh, easily um, attainable refill. It, the refill it takes is the Pilot High Tech C uh, Coloto uh, Gel Ink uh, uh, refill. So it's you know a pretty standard uh, ballpoint pen refill. But we're going to look at uh, the blue one in more detail because I think it shows up quite well on the camera here. So, so far you've seen the outside of the pen. I've showed you what, you know, the pen looks like. Let's look at the main feature. Firstly, very, very slim body here. And you've got the cap on the end here, which is a little bit more, a little wider. How this pen is used is you turn the barrel, or the cap, I turn the barrel, and out comes the, the uh, end there with the ballpoint. Now, this is a very fine ballpoint. It's like a needle point. Uh, ballpoint which is quite fine because these pilot um, refills in the pen are beautiful to write with so it is not a concern how how uh, how fine that is um, it's good this minimalist design means that everything of the pen is in a single piece here it is just one very simple sort of a you know device for capping and uncapping the pen protecting the the tip uh, and as I said, very unique. Now what they've designed is to say something that will emulate the feeling of writing with a pencil. It's about the same width as a pencil at that point, and uh, it's very, very light in the hand. Uh, and that mechanism of screwing and unscrewing is very, very, like, you can hear that because it's like metal on metal, but it is quite smooth. 
Um, so that cap is this, the threads on the inside. I don't know how visible that will be. Um, it has that, so it screws up. You thread through the threads there uh, to reveal the, the tip, which I think is a nice piece of engineering. Uh, it's good. Uh, so as I said, these come in blue, red, green, and black with those pilot uh, refills. Now, the, the way the refills are activated, so you get cylindrical sort of cap and grip, cylindrical body. The only branding on the pen is Enso written there on the end, which I think is pretty, pretty smooth. Um, and then you have a little screw on the end here. And this is how you activate, how you access the uh, refill. So I just put, I just use my fingernail, you could use anything. Um, and you can unscrew that, out comes this portion here. And then you have the refill. So this is, I don't know how much of that's gonna come up on the screen. But yes, this is the Pilot, uh, what did I say, it was Pilot High Tech C Coloto, I don't know how it's pronounced, um, gel ink. Uh, and it's very nice, made in Japan, good, good, good refill. Um, and then you simply put that back in and you screw that down. If that's not screwed down, then the, the whole pen feels a bit loose, which you also see in the unboxing until I realized. Um, but nice and secure, and then it's a, Nice writing tip. So, uh, there's not a lot else to this pen, and that's kind of the point. Uh, you know, like, they make minimalist pens. It's minimalist, it's functional, it does the job, and it serves its purpose, and it's sort of unique and a cool design. Um, they make fountain pens. They've got a really lovely minimalist fountain pen, uh, like there's a thing called the Puma, um, and they've got a couple of other sort of, you know, um, designs of ballpoint pens and pocket pens and all that sort of stuff, and it's awesome. Like, they make incredible stuff. Um, this is very unique, and it is not going to be for everyone. Let's be real here. Like, it is not going to be for everybody. But I think it's a nice design. I think it's a unique design. Uh, and if it's something that you're interested in, you know, it, it certainly is unique. So uh, let's do a writing sample, then we'll talk pros and cons. So I've just got the uh, Clairefontaine paper here. Um, I'm gonna just do a quick writing sample with each of these just so you can see it, but I'll just do all the labeling here with this one. So this is the Enso Uno Minimal Minimalist Pen. As I said, it uses the Pilot uh, High Tech C gel ink refill very very fine um, this is the blue obviously and it's part of the uh, colors set and they can be bought individually as well uh, but I think the value is in the set not necessarily in the individual colors so that's the blue here we have the uh, black model now So the, it is a needle point, sort of ballpoint. It's very, very fine. Um, like you can see how fine, how fine that is. Um, just for the sake of the exercise, um, I have a, a Pilot G2.7 here. Um, just so if I just do a bit like, like, you can see how fine uh, the line is from the uh, that refill, that uh, tip, which is lovely. Um, then we get the the red, which is a lovely, vibrant red. Um, you know, it's gelling. It's it's it's. There's a there's a. You can't always write with a fountain pen, um, but it you know there's. There's always a, a, a time and a place for a, a ballpoint pen. And here we have the green, which, you know, pretty solid ballpoint green. Um, so between those four colors, you've got like a nice combination of sort of everyday sort of stuff to be able to do your everyday writing with and whatever you need to do sort of in the, in the you know, sort of marking up and 
headers and all that sort of stuff. It's, it's a decent sort of little set to have. And because they are small um, as a set even, they take up so little sort of real estate in your in your carry and they're sort of rugged enough to be able to, um, you know, sort of go around with you. So let's just now talk a few little specs of the pen. So um, it's not small. It's very narrow, but it's not small. Um, here's that Pilot G2 again. So you get an idea of the length of the pen. Um, it's, it's not small. Retro 51, you know, like longer than a Retro 51, Muji gel pen, you know. We're, so we aren't talking a super short pen. And just for the sake of the exercise here is a Twisby Eco fountain pen. Um, and the difference when you have them sort of uh, uncapped, <laughs> if that's what you want to call it, um, is sort of minimal as well. So it's a decent length. Um, the length actually is 141 millimeters to 136 millimeters when it's unposted. So it is a, it is a nice length. Um, the diameter of the grip section is eight millimeters and the diameter of the barrel uh, is 5.3. So super, super uh, slim. The weight of this uh, is 7.5 grams. So it's a really light, it, it does feel like you are writing sort of with a pencil in a lot of ways. Um, so if that's a, a feeling that you enjoy, this is a pen for you. I now just want to talk through a few pros and cons. I'll start with the cons. Um, if you are using a standard pencil case, just a zippered pencil case, this isn't going to be a problem. If you're using something with a compartment, like a, a slip, you know, like an elastic slips or something, these are not going to stay in it. They are too narrow. I've not found a pen case with those little elastic loops that these will stay in. Um, and because of this minimalist sort of design, there's no clip, which serves two issues for me. One is that if you are using it in a pocket or something like that, there's nothing for it to, to hold it in, or even in those little pen sleeve thing, like elastic loops. Um, but also, they just roll around. Um, you know, they, they just, you know, it's not like they're faceted or anything to hold, you know, keep them still. And there's, as, there's, as there's no clip, they will just roll around. Um, so, uh, yeah, another, one little thing I have a problem with is just, there's a little bit of give, just a little bit of give in the, there's just like that threading is just a little bit loose. Um, it would be nice if there was if they sort of locked down. There's a, there's a point where you can sort of torque it down a little bit uh, for security, but it's very easy to release that. Um, and I would prefer there to be like a little bit more of a, you know, like a, um, you know, that feeling of like tightening down on an O-ring or something like that, just to cap it a bit sort of more securely. The other thing I want to discuss now is the price. This four pen set retails for 120 US. Um, which for four basic sort of ballpoint pens that use a pilot refill, I think we are pushing it in terms of the value. What you are paying for is a unique design from a company who does really unique things, which I'm all for supporting. And I think a company like Enso should be supported because they write beautifully. And for the right aesthetic, this pen is going to be absolutely perfect for you. Um, they do retail for uh, $39 US each which means that basically when you buy the set you are getting four pens for the price of three if you buy them individually so that is where the value is in terms of buying uh, these pens and you can buy the refills in a box of 10 from Enso uh, but you can also buy these Pilot um, H -tech, High Tech uh, refills from other retailers as well like a lot of off uh, office supply stores will sell them in a range of sort of colors mostly sort of these sort of standard colors. But now let's talk about the pros. Firstly, the refill, the, the pilot refill is great. And the fact that they're designed for that means that you're always going to have a writing, a good writing experience with the pen. I think the colors are nice. The blue is beautiful. That red is really nice and rich. Um, it's good. It is a unique design. You know, like you will not find many other pens on the market that look like this. There are other pens that incorporate elements of this design, but nothing quite like this. Um, it's sturdy, you know, because it is made of metal. It's not going to break in your bag. It's not. You could, you could, throw, if that capping was a little more secure, if it wasn't an issue for you, you could throw this in your bag with no problem. Um, 
it's sturdy, it's it's rugged enough. And the thing I but the thing I love 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 about this pen is the uh, I'll find a lighter one so we can actually see down into that barrel again. Is the engineering of how the pen actually um, uncaps, like the way that those threads work, the fact that they're not visible at any point, other than when you look down into the barrel when it's closed, you can see the threads there. I think it's a really lovely design. I think that's a really nice, nicely thought out, beautifully engineered, considered element of uh, the pen. And of course, if you're right-handed, then you're going to get the the uh, Enso label up the right way when you write. Unfortunately, as yes, it's a way for left-handed people, we get it upside down, but that's just that. So anyway, this was the uh, Enso Uno Minimalist uh, pen in the colors set. Really unique pen write really really well uh, very reliable never had any problem with them writing uh so unique check out and so check out their fountain pens um i think i think their fountain pens are actually really 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 great uh and uh you know these sort of minimalist pens which as i said strip away everything that's not needed on the pen it's a great concept so I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at, at the underscore, underscore... I'll try that again. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at, at the underscore offstage underscore me. Or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is listed down below. If there are products you think I should be looking at or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens. Enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.